Hello again and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. It's extremely hot in this small little place that is almost a room. The Lost, well this is going to be fun. Last run was almost a train wreck, it wasn't quite a train wreck and therefore I don't feel like I quite have the excuse that I want to have to have failed at it so badly, but we got whittled down. We did, we got whittled down and everything sucks. So I'm going to keep randoming. Chaos card, that could get us out of a very sticky situation. I'm going to keep randoming even though it's going to throw up the lost, it's going to throw up the keeper, because we don't have a street going and I don't really mind. I just want to play the game, try and get the final two items that we have left to collect. Hopefully get a new space for Ryan. We've got Mom's Eye, which is just hot trash. Uh, I'll just keep playing the game. Try and recover from fairly poor performance by any count. Probably not going to really put me in a contender for the Olympic Isaac uh, committee. Alas. So what we're hoping for on this run, not dying, we do obviously start with Holy Mantle, which helps, and uh, the Spectral Tears the Lost starts with is also pretty good. Bombs. Bombs are key, might help. It's not going to help us get to something, and Tinted Rocks are only going to be useful if they happen to contain small rock, which none of them did on the previous run, by the way. Hashtag just saying. Hashtag YOLO. But look, all we need is some good fundamentals. Simple dodges, not walking into enemies like a complete stupid face. And, yeah, like I nearly did there. Holy Mantle, of course, will give us a little bit of a, an edge, but not a huge amount. Curse of the Maze has yet to cause us any grief. And the fact that there is a, a reroll on my spacebar is causing me to be very upset. Slightly paranoid that I'm going to press the spacebar. Sort of fat finger it. We did ruin an Algiers rune on the last run, on that Judas run, by accidentally fat fingering it, which I just remembered by saying that. Could have got us out of a bind, or could have got us could have got us into a decent situation where we had enough HP. There's a few root, a few rooms, a few enemies that I've still not quite got the hang of. Um, you saw how much damage I took against the doppelganger in the wound there just because I couldn't figure out how to shoot the damn thing. I didn't have any, yeah, exactly, an orbital or anything like that to help out, so. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't trivial to have beaten that particular enemy, although I'm sure it is if you know what you're doing, which is why I'm saying, why the hell don't I know what I'm doing yet after all this time. Still quite tempted to use the orbital, even though we can only get hit once. Like, we can get hit once, though, that's the thing. So we can use our orbital... Provided there's nothing left to hit us, except for the thing we're orbiting, like that. But at the same time, it may be simpler just to shoot them. I honestly don't know. In some situations that could be the case. In other situations, the orbital does enough damage that it's often worth using it, like in this situation. But maybe not in the, the dip situation there, because it could easily have hit us. We'll open this. We'll re-enter the room just because. I'm slightly paranoid about it going wrong. Yeah, we can definitely, um... Open this? Yeah. We can definitely orbital a lot more things. I'm becoming more comfortable with the balls of meats and cubes of bandages. Because early on, they're too close to your fucking body. Walking into things whilst trying to do damage with... Like, the hitbox on the cube of meat so close to the hitbox on you that it's dead easy to screw everything up forever. We didn't find our item room yet, so don't let me leave. Oh uh, yeah, just keep doing that, I don't care. <laughs> We've broken him. We've broken the monstro. What's he going to do? What's the monstro's next move? Find out next week, because that's how long it's going to take to kill him like this. I mean, we could orbital it, but why? We've definitely bugged monstro out right now, and I'm I feel cheap. I feel like that could have been done with more style. <laughs> Who gives a shit, man? Fuck him. Uh, I mean, multi-dimensional baby is okay, and the nail gives us nothing. Oh, we got our thing. Paralysis. Oh, brilliant. Paralysis. 
We're slightly faster now. That's already a better upgrade than we really ever got on the previous run, the Judas run. I'm going to keep harping on about because I'm embittered. I'm an old man with uh, a cane and a front lawn. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing this. <laughs> it's very, very foolish. But I'm getting the hang of it. This is also an amazing upgrade. So, to hell with the previous run. To hell with this floor, let us leave. This is doing alright. I'm a fan of this. We've got a bit of a speed upgrade, which is really nice. We've got the 8 inch nails, which is quite nice. We didn't get too much on the first floor. We didn't take a deal with the devil, which was half the plan, to be fair. I mean, it was like half the way. It was 50% the way to not take a deal with the devil. It was contingency for taking the deal with the devil. Oh god, I've been hit. Let me out. I want to go. Let me leave. Telepills. Should be okay. Just don't get hit a second time. It's as easy as that. Yeah. Don't get hit a second time and then make the craziest fucking needle weaving dodge you've ever done in your entire life between a bunch of enemies that are going in a completely different direction. There's no... There's no what you're doing here. This is fine. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm also going to take the uh, guppy's head, of course, but I've been more concerned with not being hit, if you don't mind, for a while. So when we've solved the not being hit problem, we will take guppy's head and stick with it because the flies that come out of it can really make a big difference. Speed down. Speed. Well, we've already taken speed up, so it's not the worst thing in the world. One makes you larger. Look. We're larger now. It doesn't actually have any effect on us, I believe. It just makes us bigger. It doesn't increase our hitbox. So it's kind of a zero-sum pill. But also it's just another pill that is shit. <laughs> in a range of pills that are shit. I find that the pill game in Isaac is just super... It's, it's very meh. It's very whatever. You know, There's almost never a right time to take a pill. You only would ever take a pill if you've got, like, PhD or at least Virgo. Should we do the boss now? Sure, why not? If it's a very scary boss, we'll just use the Chaos card, obviously. This is a very scary boss. Because <laughs> it's quite easy to get hit once by this. As you saw on the previous run, where I got hit once. Now I've got to get hit again. It happened. All is lost. Because it chases you around so much. You've really got to be on the ball with that. We didn't have the damage. We weren't killing it. Like, 8 inch nails was great, and if we'd gone to the ice room, maybe we would have hit something a little bit better and increased our damage that little bit further, but... Not knowing where the Fallen is going to stop and do the cross attack. That's kind of the killer on all Fallen fights. Just not knowing where it's going to be when it stops. Okay. I'm game. Let's do this. Now we can go to the shop. Yes, we can. Excellent. Shall we? Okay. Diplopia. I think it's worth it. Again, don't accidentally press the spacebar. If we can make it to boss rush, Diplopia lets us take five items. Let's take all four items once, and then one of the items again. Or, you can take the items... Now, this won't work on boss rush, but you can take an item... Then deploy to the pedestal and get a new item. The reason that won't work on boss rush is that if you take one item, all the pedestals disappear except for that one. So you only get two items. Which will work, obviously, and you can wait till the end and take that item as well, and then there's two, and then you can get four items, but at that point it's basically just a re-roll. But you do you do get four items, so it's pretty cool. Um or we can do the same thing on the chest. Or we can just diplopia anything that comes along. We can use it to take a deal with the devil without paying for it, which means we can take a deal with the devil item, get the benefit from it, and still be on angel room mode. Which is obviously why we're here. We're looking for godhead. Hopefully we can find chaos, maybe. I took fruitcake. And I'm not quite sure about fruitcake. Some of the uh, some of the tear effects are very potent, though. And can really knock something down like that. First barrier. Balls of steel Balls is not very useful. Uh, but also they can explode in your face and hurt you, so... Probably not a very safe item to take as a loss, but also... I've got... 
what am I going to do? <laughs> I can't really roll it. Let's fight the boss and see how much we explode in our own faces. Lost versus Widow. Should be fine. Don't, don't jump, please. Thank you. Not jumping is great when you have an explosivo stuck to you, so if you can manage that in future, be most grateful. Every now and then we get a, an anti-graph shot, which is kind of awkward to deal with. It's just sort of hanging there. That's okay. Yep. Fine. Shot speed up is not the best thing in the world. Two of diamonds we might as well keep over the magician. It's more likely as a one-shot item. It's that bit, bit, bit much more likely to uh, give us a, a good benefit on that one shot. Oh, this is bad times. Okay, we're safe. I'm not sure if the fact we have spectral tears can still cause things to explode nearby us. Hoping not, but you never know. Nothing too tremendous in that center drop. I'd like a key because this is this is locked item room zone. Excuse me, what was that? <laughs> oh, I think that was uh, rubber cement. Rubber cement plus spectral tears means it starts bouncing around the first place it enters after passing over <laughs> the rock. Okay, well, I got hit. Don't get hit, it's easy. What part of don't get hit have you not really been understanding all this time? You know how you get hit? Not that. I mean, it's a very simple concept, brain. Just continue to parse it. I suppose as you see fit, but it would be good if you sort of understood the meaning behind it rather than just the individual words. Okay. Well, Brain managed to not get hit Judgment. twice. I mean, it managed to not get hit several times, but it failed once. It only has to fail once twice for another run to be over. I'm not really expecting to win lost runs. I just like... I like the... Uh, the requirement for very technical play because there's very little room for error because so many things you have to look out for I mean these bomb these exploding barrels nearby us what if uh, uh help what if a uh, sort of tiny planet shot were to explode that I would not be a fan of that please though I can't when you're invisible, I don't because you're not visible. It's difficult to not get hit by something you can't see, and I've already had this talk with myself. Perthro could be helpful, and so we might as well use. Do we have Curse of the Lost? We do. Why did I do that? Dagars. Dagars. Now we don't. Brilliant. Algiers. I will take Algiers. No, let's take let's say Perthro. We'll use this to a damage now. Then we'll have to come back for it. We'll use Perthro and take it down to... Oh, it's that chap. The item room, just in case the item room sucks donkey balls. Which we can now get into, so my call for... That explosion scared me. My call for keys was heard. Oh dear. It's okay, they're not the explodey chasey ones. In fact, they're explodey each other ones, which is even nicer. Close though. You exploded yourself, which is also nice. Good. You see the... Yeah, this is shit. So we'll re-roll it. We get some bombs. And there are poison bombs, but mostly it's just bombs. Which is not... My favourite. But whatever. We'll take this Yara rune. I was tempted to take the Algis rune just because we could get something out of it. But I don't really think we can, to be fair. Might as well take the Steam Sail. I mean, we could have found something like a Demon Judgment and used the Algis Room to get something sweet from the Demon Judgment, but honestly, it doesn't seem that likely. Maybe we'll fight this mini-boss, though. It's Pride. This could be bad. Yeah, this could be bad. Pride's own bombs don't hurt Pride, which upsets me to some extent, but I feel like um, it should be more of a more of a rough sort of deal, where it, they do. <laughs> we did succeed. Anarchist Cookbook is not something that thrills me. Well, I guess we just continue to not get hit. Twice. You can see the benefit of Holy Mantle, though, because this run would have been over so many times just from random attacks like Pride. Like, Pride in a tiny room like that. It's bullshit. 
it's, you know, Tyrone fix it. Well, it's not. It's difficult. It's a challenge. My nose is itching as hell again. It must be up here. There's something about this tiny little room I'm in. These glasses. I'm allergic to these glasses, I suppose. That's definitely it. No question. I know. I, I hear your protests, and I reject them all. It's absolutely, definitely, I'm allergic to my own glasses. Let's blow this up. We could get some more up. We've got plenty of bombs. We didn't. We'll take that. I don't want it, but we'll take it. It doesn't help us. Huge deal. Every now and then we get a godhead tier, and I'm like, are you just teasing me? This is a cruel game. I'm being a dick about it. This room's easy with spectral tears, I'll be honest. Especially when those spectral tears keep exploding the enemies and stuff like that. Did not find a secret room there. Maybe there's one here. Ooh, a dime. Don't mind if I do. We did pick up steam sails, so... What? You moved. Uh, the dime's going to be that much more useful on the next floor. It'll go that much further. What? BS. What should we deploy up here? Well, we're guaranteed as many deals with the devil as we can get as the loss, provided we're still alive. So we might consider Diplopia in the very first one that we come across. If any of these actually high damage shots could hit pin, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I like that. Hooray! Range upgrade is okay. <coughs> Do we need either of these? I suggest not. So we shall not Diplopia it. We don't need to be able to fly, because we can. And Gimpy, well, causes red hearts to drop from enemies way more often. And can give us a spirit heart when we get hit. I mean, it's a hard sell when you're the loss. Whoa. Somehow that tiny planet shot hit this enemy here. We've got the arrow rune. Yeah, that's what we want. If we get far enough to make it worthwhile, it will be worthwhile to have. Our fucking damage is not doing anything to these bastards. Let's get rid of this one. Those explosive shots might actually kill them. They did. All right, good. That one's dead as well, somehow. Don't remember doing it, but I'm happy. Somehow we survived this room, even though it looked like we were definitely not going to. Why are you taking zero damage, please? Good. Uh, we'll come out and go back in. We'll go to the curse room once we have Holy Mantle available. Why did that fly do that weird pause? Did you see that? I mean, the Yarrow room we don't have to save till the chest. It's kind of most valuable in a chest, but we can yarrow anything, really. What's this? We want two twos of diamonds? Not oh, really, I'll use one, though. We should go to that secret room. Oh, we've been here before. <laughs> Just don't get hit. Continue to not get hit. That one's chasing that one. Lovely. Spring is in the air. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, can I press this button? And enemies will appear before the door. Blocking my exit. My egress. Where are all these coins coming from? Oh, I'll tell you what. It's probably... Uh, it's probably Fruitcake giving me Head of the Keeper shots. Ooh, this please. That's a much better fire rate now, isn't it? Probably Fruitcake giving me Head of the Keeper shots, which then turn into coins. That's pretty nice. I'm fan of that. Now, our damage has gone down as a result of this pickup, but our fire rate has gone up by quite a lot. It more than compensates, we hope. We still do have to worry about the idea that we're going to be doing a lot less damage now. You see that holy light shot didn't kill that thing? Unbelievable, Jen. Everything died and I wasn't party to it, but I'm still happy by it. Yeah, yeah, Dry Baby is actually a really good defensive item, and as a loss, that's the sort of thing you really want. You definitely want that sort of thing. Uh, you can just hide behind it. You can literally tank an entire fight hiding behind... Uh, okay, when I say an entire fight, I was kind of thinking of one that didn't have a beam weapon that could kill the shit out of us. Also, every time Dry Baby does collect a, whew, a shot, does a Necronomicon effect on us. So there's that too. It's quite nice. But mostly it's just here to protect me. Any stray shot that looks like it's about to do me a nasty, I can kind of try and get Dry Baby behind it. 
It's a bit like Samson's Chains. It doesn't do any breaking of rocks, but I don't really need it to. What it does do is sort of retribution against the enemy. Oh, I got hit. I put myself behind it instead of dry baby. Be silly. Can we do some more damage, though? Any time you like. We can Diplopia any damage upgrade we care to. We haven't seen one yet. I mean, I could have diplopia Odd Mushroom. Double the fire rate. Again. Well, double the fire rate increase is what I'm thinking there. Yeah, you're on fire. You're dead. Not dead. Okay. I mean, when I said you're, on, you're dead, I was maybe exaggerating for effect. Uh, maybe we should have diplopia that, but I'm kind of thinking we diplopia something awesome like a deal with the devil. Let's just go. How are we so slow? I try and do these runs as fast as I can, but... Why are they not faster, <laughs> I guess? I don't feel like each floor, each room takes me any longer than I'd expect it to. And yeah, I always find myself at 12 minutes on the caves too, going, uh, where did the time go? Is this what it's like being old? Also, stay the hell away from the enemies if you're going to have the occasional shot that explodes, because that would be bad. That was probably a really bad idea. I wasn't actually sure what type of enemy that was. If it was an exploding one, then we were in uh, dire straits. Oh yeah, just like that. Thank you for demonstrating ampt amply and actly the concern I had about exploding enemies. It's fine. Let's go in here. Chests. Chests. I kind of think we should maybe try and find a, a way to teleport out of that. Even our holy light shots are not hurting the enemies to any extent that I would prefer them to. I mean, seriously. Wait, what? That one hurt a lot. And the previous one didn't hurt at all. I'm very confused, Ted. Yeah, I probably won't do that boss trap room unless I can get out of it, because I don't want to have to fight two bosses at this strength level, do you see? I can probably fight one boss like this, and I'm going to have to. But if we can't get out of that gauntlet, I'm not going into it. I know my limits. I'm going to fight within it. Secret room? We have a lot of bombs, we might as well find out. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. I'm taking it. We have re-rolled. We have now got money equals power. Fuck. <laughs> Tech X, Tiny Planet. Tech X and Tiny Planet do not appear to be having any effect on each other. We've got Tough Love, which I assume will just increase our damage randomly, or just straight damage increase. We've got an HP upgrade, which is obviously useless to us, but we've also got money equals power and Mom's Wig. Now, Mom's Wig is a very it's a very passive item that people don't tend to consider, and I quite like it because the number of spiders you can get out of it, especially with a charged attack like Tech X. I mean, what it does is it causes... Oh, sorry, my nose. Bad nose. Um, it causes spiders to pop out just at random whilst you're firing. So if you're charging a shot, it's basically all the time you have a strong chance of spiders turning up. It feels like we have something magnetic as well. And we've also got 8 inch nails, which you saw on the previous attempt. Yeah, we've definitely got strange tractor. We saw 8 inch nails on the previous failed attempt at a run. And our shot speed is nice and slow, which is actually good for you when you've got Tech X because of the way that... Are they drifting towards... I don't know what's happening. Um, I really don't know why the shots are going in these weird directions. Let's test this. Straight line. Yeah, straight line. This way. No enemies on the screen, so they seem to be going in a straight line. I may be going crazy, of course. It has been known. Ooh. I'll take that at the cost. I'll take both of these at the cost of damage to our tiers. These will be damaged to our spiders. And of course, we're going to get a new set of items on the next floor anyway, so why not? Did we find our item room at all? We didn't. So now we can go to our item room and get a choice of two. Mm -hmm. Tech X is a great item. I'm very much pleased to have it right now. Yeah, these things are being dragged around by our tears. No messing. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to lose it. Ooh. Enough bombs to try this. We don't lose bombs. If we roll through something that gives us a benefit, like a bomb synergy, we keep the synergy. We keep the bombs that we get from the synergy. I 
pretty much don't want that, so... Please to have fought the floor. Fought the room, I guess. Uh, we keep the bombs, but we don't keep the item. We'll use this. Gives us a chance to get... Temporarily an orbital, I suppose. I mean, what difference does it make? Both of those items are shit for us. We want to keep Diplopia so that we can... Diplopia something at some point, provided we live long enough to do so. Oh, good. Charge up. Now go. Uh, plenty of spiders, and of course they're bigger. That won't last. We're going to lose... We're not going to lose the spiders themselves. But we'll lose this. I don't think we'll lose Devil Precedent either, so... I wonder if we can get... I wonder if rolling into Godhead counts as picking up Godhead. Or if we even can roll into Godhead. Let's see what the next run has for us. We picked up a couple of extra items to uh, deal with. We've got Seraphim, it looks like. We've got the body, which is useless. We've got... Ease Mascara is a damage upgrade, but we're also firing quite quickly anyway, so I feel like maybe we've got something else that is massively increasing our rate of fire. We might pick that up at the end of the level so that we can re-roll it immediately, but... Having an extra couple of items to re-roll is great. Obviously, we've got rubber cement. Because this is rubber cement. Bouncing off the walls here. Also, I can't fail to notice we have Daddy long legs. Occasionally stomping on enemies. Our damage is pretty shit. But we also have Monstro's Lump. And we've seen this synergy before. I think it was with Brimstone, actually. Uh... A monstrous lung brimstone sort of thing, or any laser. Just, I think it does consistently fire one out in front of you, or at least approximately in front of you, and then all the rest just come out at random angles, and then bounce once off the walls thanks to rubber cement. We do have two HP upgrades, which is just utter shit. Very much not a fan of having two HP upgrades. A luck upgrade is going to stick with us though. It's the items that get re-rolled. It's not the. Uh, it's not your stats. Curse of the lost. So we're going to be here a... <laughs> Trixie Dixie there. See that? We're going to be here a while looking for a way out. We also want to find our item room because the more items we have, the more re-rolls we get. And the more awesome the next floor will be. Of course, we can't just randomly re-roll again. We no longer have Holy Mantle. I must, uh, must make you aware of that. So don't be surprised when I fuck everything up by getting hit. Pretty sure we still have Spectral Tears. Because it's a lost thing rather than... We can't do this curse room because we don't have Holy Mantle. Spectral Tears is a lost thing, so we're not going to roll out of that. Eve's Mascara does double your damage at the expense of your fire rate, but... We're firing so fast despite that. I feel like maybe we have something shit that we can't see on the right-hand side of the screen. I mean, we're doing kind of okay-ish, but... I'd rather do a lot better, if that's okay. Very long, let's go. Yeah. Go deal with something. We're doing so little damage. Maybe we can buy something? Diplopia the shop? I don't know. Don't really care about that. I mean, the stopwatch used to be something you'd want to take as a lost because um, it would permanently slow down the whole game. No longer. It now only slows down the game when you get hit. And it's when you get hit. Take damage to get hit, not when you get hit with Holy Mantle. Which we don't have. So I suppose, ultimately, Stopwatch is no longer remotely valuable for the Lost because you just can't activate it. There's no, no way of using it. Item room. I mean, we can stand back. We have infinite range. Might as well take this. It's not even passive. I'm hoping that by taking it, we won't roll into it. Well, we can't roll into an active item, actually, so... That's kind of good. There's, like, 400 or so items in the game, but many of them are active items. Like, please don't be bad. It's brownie. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We died. <laughs> uh, brownie's a very difficult fight. I'm bad at it. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching. We are still trying to find our godhead and our crown of light. And I do enjoy taking missing no and throwing away a lost run. Happens all the time to the best of us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.